Hey, Karen. Karen. Hi. So that was my kind of like saying, hey, everything else says, we're going to restore it. We're going to restore it properly. Uh, They're going camera shy. Bill Price, he was a deputy government. Right, so welcome to George Square, Glasgow. Glasgow. And in the investigation, it's the 2020 the UK start event for the Monte Carlo Rally. Right, we're going to um, cut you off just now, Michael. We'll come back to you later on. Some we'll of my long time right, subscribers may we'll remember I came up here last year set up. So um, to Clyde's we'll side we'll to start. Through. Thank you very much. So this time I'm not going to bother filming much at all. Um, it's just a a quick vlog to say this is where we're at. It's a wet streak. What day is it? Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday, isn't it? Wednesday, 29th of January. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're just killing time, waiting for all the everything to start. We started uh, getting some cars up on the start ramp. Um, the 00, zero car is LBL 6060 or 6660, which is the 1967 winning car of Paddy Hopkirk. So yeah, we're just going to spend a, a bit of time wandering about. Um, there's been no videos for a couple of weeks because I've been that busy sorting out the new unit. Uh, key handover for that is tomorrow. Um, so there's been a lot of faffing about, let's put it that way, trying to get everything sorted, insurance and electric and blah blah blah, all the usual sort of crap. So that's taken up my time for the past two weeks. What I did do uh, was went down to Mini Spares and I had a delivery from MED, which is all the gearbox parts for the new um, gearbox, obviously, that's going to go under Bumblebee. Uh, it's the A plus one uh, from the uh, Cupboard of Doom. And the plan is to build all those parts into it. So coming up next is a quick intro to those parts, show you what I bought. And uh, that might be it for today, I'm not really sure. We'll see what the weather does and uh, what more I can uh, film. Uh, it doesn't really work filming going down the road. I found last time it, with the GoPros, it, you just couldn't see anything. Um, and if it's half as wet and horrible as it was coming up the road to Glasgow, then you won't see now. The cars are real state, you got absolutely minging. But uh, yeah, that's it for now. Uh, enjoy the bit of footage coming up of all the nice, lovely, expensive parts I bought. Right, so as I just said, um, in these intervening weeks while well, there's been no video I've been uh, collecting parts and obviously I did say in a previous video that I was going to use the one of the A plus key boxes that are in the uh, cupboard of doom under the stairs presently attached to an engine so that's all gonna have to come out and get uh, stripped apart but uh, once I decided which route I was gonna go I had to start collecting the parts in advance to do the build so this is box number one uh, obviously as you can see where I've been and in this box we've got first off that lot there is the helical wide gear set nothing much to see because it's all wrapped up in um, bubble wrap all the individual parts and then other parts of that kit that are just come individually are all these bearings and bits and pieces in these various boxes here um, so other parts I've got is Quaif diff because I want to change to a, a higher final drive and you have to have the letter type Quaif limit uh, diff limit slip ATB diff to fit the newer higher final drives um, so obviously I was fitting a new crown wheel and pinion so I've got the bolts there and the lock tabs as well I don't remember using lock tabs when I did the uh, the previous one but never mind and then in this bag here we have the new crown wheel and pinion 3.1 I was going to go 2.9 but I chickened out because I thought it would just be too high um, some of the new fancy ball rings, the lay shaft is part of the kit um, I did also this time buy the proper tool for taking out your pot joints because I've normally just used a big flat chisel uh, and this last time it was really um, stubborn and coming out and it started to damage the end cover so uh, I decided to get the proper tool once in a while I just keep buying the proper tools to build up the stock um, another part I added was the biased device um, it seems to 
you know take a lot of the slop out of your gear change so I quite like that and then obviously a full gasket set is part of the kit I think and then the big box in the bottom is a new um, clutch clutch plate because I figured while it was all apart I might as well change the clutch anyway I think I can't remember which one it is it's not the AP one I think it's just the mini spares um, 180 mil one or something like that so that's all the bits from mini spares all ready to go in the gear box once I get it out and stripped because I was using that quaff diff there I knew I wanted to keep me hardy spices so you have to get a conversion kit that allows you to use the hardy spices on a pot joint style diff whether it be a limited slip or not now this is the box from MED this is the first time opening it oh I don't want to look at that bit because it's probably frightening oh great it's gonna be easy to see what we've got in here um, I got a set of uh, piston rings for the turbo engine that's in the garage in the workshop there I got another set of a, well a set of a plus roller rockers one-to-one -one ratio that's them and then the bit in here what's that this is the hardy spicer adapters there you go that's all they are and that slides over the pot joint output and then fastens to your hardy uh, spice uh, outputs no they're not the outputs either well the other half of this hardy spices anyway so that was my uh, package from MED so then parts there and then parts there that's going to be the gearbox box for Bumblebee so now back to Glasgow cars are lined up there's the historic and the classics on uh, George Street there and on the street over there behind me I put some photographs in that I took before and then in this pen behind me here are all the historic um, the heritage runs they call them so the idea is from seven o'clock start going off up the ramp and then down to the bottom of George Square East I think it is which is over there and then down this way and that takes us out somewhere over the M8 and then from there it's a fairly easy run once we got on the M8 um, it's M8, M77, bit of the back roads A77 and then down here 76 towards Dumfries really and then the finish point is at Old Girth but it's a different place than normal um, unfortunately, the snow on the, there's a little bit of video coming up, which we took on the way up on the on the phone, which isn't too brilliant, but it shows the snow on the on the fells coming up around Beatrick and Moffat, and that's uh, pretty much washed away, and there doesn't seem to be much on the route. I keep checking the uh, the cameras and stuff. The vans you're working for weather companies, I keep checking the cameras. So it doesn't look too bad for the drive back down but uh, as I said before we're still just killing time trying to keep warm but it's well, it's only like five o'clock or something I think well actually yeah it's only half past five so we got until seven o'clock before the first car goes so it's all the 20 odd 
historics and classics, the zero zeros, etc, etc, before us. So it could be like 8 o'clock before we get on the ramp. <laughs>